Hello, my name is Dominica and I am a sports coaching student. This is my third log about my 20 hours of placement at the Sert and Finney Soccer Centre. Today I will talk about how the organisation is connected to the national development initiatives and strategies and how it helps to develop coaches. This Girl Can is an initiative created by Sport England in 2015 and is currently still functioning. Its objective is to increase and celebrate female participation across all of the United Kingdom. It encourages women to get active no matter how they do it. The Soccer Centre contributes to this initiative as it has an under-11 girls football group to encourage any young females to take part, be active and have fun. Wildcats is an initiative created by the Football Association in 2017 and is currently still functioning. The objective of the initiative is to increase the under-11 female participation in football. There are over 1,250 centres across the United Kingdom that provide wildcat sessions and certain Finney is one of them. Towards an Active Nation is an initiative created by Sport England in 2016 and is aiming to meet its targets by 2021. Sports England strategy includes tackling an activity, building positive attitudes towards sport and children from a young age, making the public sector more inclusive, better experience of sports for all, and sharing the best practice. The Soccer Centre's provision realises these strategies through the warm and friendly atmosphere. Everyone is welcome. The practices are being delivered by qualified and experienced coaches to make them the best possible, which help to build positive attitudes towards sport. This together helps to tackle the inactivity amongst children and teenagers. The Soccer Centre also follows some of the actions outlined by the DCMS framework for a new sports strategy. First of them being actions that meet the needs of the customer and enable them to engage in sport and physical activity. This is being followed by providing football sessions to everyone, paid for those that can afford and free for those that cannot. The second action includes actions that strengthen the sports sector and make it more effective and resilient and it is followed by the coaches within the soccer centre being good role models, endorsing good behaviour on the children and challenging them with tasks for them to figure out and try the best at which helps to enhance those qualities. Due to these actions being taken, the soccer centre meets the output of more people from every background regularly and meaningfully taking part in sport and physical activity, volunteering and experiencing live sport. This occurs within the soccer centre by having a variety of backgrounds working together for a common goal, for the coaches to provide a good session for the participants, for the participants to enjoy these sessions and for the parents to spectate. Another output that the Soccer Centre meets is a more productive, sustainable sports sector. This is because the qualified and experienced coaches provide sessions of high standard, which made the Soccer Centre run successfully for 22 years now. The Soccer Centre meets all of the outcomes outlined by the framework. The outcome of physical well-being is met because the children and teenagers get active for an hour, which meets the minimum recommended time for moderate intensity of physical activity stated by the NHS. The outcome of mental well-being is met because exercise releases endorphins, which are also known as the happy hormone. The increase of this hormone helps to lift up the participant's mood, and the NHS states that one of the long-term effects include the risk of suffering from depression being decreased by 30%. The Soccer Centre meets the outcome of individual development because Sport England outlined that playing team sports requires the participants to use many soft skills, such as communication, teamwork or leadership. These skills are transferable to all of the different areas in their lives, from school to work to playing different sports and many more. The outcome of social and community development is met because giving the children and teens a safe place to play football reduces the risk of accidents, as there is less of them playing on the streets. It has also been found that providing opportunities to participate in sports reduces criminal offences, especially if combined with other interventions, as found by Cameron and McDougall in 2000. They have outlined that although the same exact strategies will not be effective for every case, common strategies and processes should not be declined 
and instead they should be tailored to the community's particular needs. The outcome of economic development is met, as when children have positive experiences with sport from a young age, they are likely to carry on being active, which means that they are likely to stay healthy. Sport England strategy involves more people being active, which will result in an increased number of healthy people. This means that the government will be able to spend less money on the healthcare and more on sport and physical activity. The Soccer Centre also provides jobs and opportunities for professional development to help people become qualified and experienced in coaching football, which helps to strengthen the sector. The Soccer Centre happily takes new volunteers on board from all backgrounds. All of the volunteers go through the Football Association's criminal record checks to ensure the safety of all the participants. The organisation helps their committed volunteers to get the necessary qualifications and experiences to be able to develop as a coach, which helps to produce more qualified and experienced coaches, making them more employable for future and allowing them to make connections and receive job opportunities. There is a group forum for the coaches, where they can share their activities ideas for other coaches to use as inspiration. The forum also informs the coaches about any beneficial event opportunities such as talks or conferences.